Okay, so now we're in an office area and I'm going to kind of go over the general cleaning uh, routine that we'll do in an office area. And what I've got here is a bucket with um, the rejuvenol and water already mixed in it with my green rag. Um, and then I've got my duster wand and a blue towel. And the blue towels, um, basically, they're always going to, we're always going to keep these dry. They're good for like um, a desk surface like this. After I wipe this off, sometimes you'll see the remaining um, chemical residues. And then we'll take and dry the desk off with this. And that'll kind of give it a nice clean look. Um, the first thing I'm going to do though, before I wipe her desk, is I'm going to take the Swiffer wand and I'm going to do window ledges. I'm going to dust the window ledge with it. I'm going to dust the baseboard, um, do the wall-to-wall -wall corners. This is to get the cobwebs off. Um, continue on with the baseboard. Um, top of the credenza. And if you're in a building and you can't see all this, and this is pretty invasive, um, trying to pick up as much of the stuff as I can and put it back exactly where it came from. Um, you got to be really careful here because you don't want to break anything. Um, if you're in a building and you're not able to get to that stuff that's really high like that, we'll have to make an arrangement with you to get a ladder so that you can see what you're doing. But in most cases, you won't need to do, you won't have to worry about having a ladder. But just in a bookcase like this, we're going to just kind of reach in here with this duster wand and do the best we can. Um, we're not going to empty it off or anything. Just do some dusting. The face of the desk, we'll dust it off. If there's a shoe print or something that doesn't come off by dusting, then we will use a rag on it. Um, the chair, basically you want to get right in here where you know some lint or dander might fall. And then you want to dust the chair legs. Um, move it around where you can see it. Um, more of the baseboard. Um, you've got a filing cabinet. Some offices will have like copy machines. We'll dust those off too. Uh, blinds get dusted. And depending upon how often a building is actually cleaned by us, um, there might be something called a scheduled zone, a scheduled zone or scheduled dusting. We don't dust every single time we clean a building. In some cases, if it's a building that we clean several times a week, for example, we do have some. We have a lot of buildings though that we only clean once a week, and so in those, your building maintenance guide will will guide you through uh, telling you which days you're going to do specific tasks. Um, make sure the blind gets put back to the way it was when you started, whether that be open or closed. Um, more dusting would be the back of these monitors, back in here, where you're not going to really be able to get a rag to this very easily. So we're just going to take the duster and, and work at it like that. Um, go across the top of the monitors, dust the screens, dust across the top. If it's a monitor that's jammed up against a wall like this, we're not going to obviously try to pull the monitor out and get behind there. It's just, it would create too much hassle. Um, dust the chair. Chair legs. More cabinets under here. In some buildings, you'll see that uh, under here would be a computer tower. And if there was a tower here, we would dust it off too. But this, this office does not have that. Um, that's pretty much it with dusting. I mean, you want to kind of watch your vents, you know, occasionally they need to be dusted off. Um, we've got a vent actually here on the wall, run the duster across there. If they had pictures on the wall or art and decor, we would dust those off. Um, I'm going to set the duster down now and show you what we're going to sanitize here with the rejuvenol water. Again, you're just wringing this thing out really, really good. Let me show you too about folding the towel. So you're bringing it, you got a square towel, you're bringing it out of the rejuvenol with one corner, and you're gonna fold that corner to the opposite corner, fold the towel back over itself in half, and then wring it out really good, okay? 
and we're going to unfold the towel and fold it into four squares and we're just going to wipe across the arms of the chairs, wipe the desk. When you come into papers and stuff like this on the desk, generally what you're going to do is just wipe around it, okay? And then you're going to, you know, move some stuff around, like pick up the mouse, wipe underneath it, go underneath the keyboard. Sometimes on these keyboards you're going to find gum wrappers, um, candy wrappers, paper clips, anything that's trash like that, just pick it up and throw it away. Um, basically that's wiping the desk and the phone, just pick up the receiver and wipe it off like this. Place it back on the on there. These here sometimes um, it's hard to see when you're standing up, but if you sit down in the chair and you look up, then what you're going to see is handprints where they're constantly grabbing these. So you're going to you know you can sit in the chair if you want, so you can see what you're doing. But wipe these off. And like I said, mostly what you're after here is just getting handprints off these. Um, so this desk is still actually a little bit damp, so now I'm going to switch over to my blue towel and I'm just going to kind of work at this until I see that I've pretty well got it dried off. Um, I always tell people you don't want their desktop to look like a uh, tabletop at a Mexican restaurant because when you go, just thing when you eat out, you can always tell that your table's been wiped because of all the residue of it not being dried off after it's been cleaned. Um, while we're in here, let me talk to you a little bit about trash collection. So you've got the trash bag. Um, when you pull the trash bag out of the trash can, you might see that inside the trash can there might be a spilled soda. Maybe they threw a uh, styrofoam cup at this and it tore the bag and soda leaked into the trash can. It is our responsibility to clean that out. And you basically would use the rejuvenol bucket and the green rag to clean the inside of the trash can before you reline it. So we don't want to find trash bags that are full of drink spills in the bottom of them. They should be clean. Um, another tip too, when you're changing the trash, um, if you see something like this on the floor, a little piece of dirt, go ahead and just throw it away in the trash can because it's going to be a It'll be a lot easier probably to pick it up and throw it away than to try to get it with the vacuum cleaner. If you saw a paper clip down there, it'd be a perfect time. Pick that up, throw it away. Um, that way you don't have to worry about fighting with it uh, when it comes time to vacuuming. Um, with the trash cans, it's a lot easier if you have a large trash barrel that you have access to in your building. For the purpose of trash collection, it will be taking um, a large barrel and putting several small trash bags into that barrel so that we have one large trash bag to take out to the dumpster. And of course this floor will be vacuumed and then basically this office would be clean at that point.